Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? It's been a hell of a while since I've taken my camera out. <laughs> oh my god, I think it's been at least a month, all because I've been editing this one video and I decided to go artsy with it. And, um, yeah, it's taking me forever. And I know it's not going to be like a super successful video or anything, but I just... I just needed to go artsy with it and it's just taking me forever because, you know, school and work and all, all that jazz. But anyway, I decided that I want to try doing, like, vlogging on the weekend. Even if I don't do anything interesting, I'm gonna try and bring my camera with me wherever I go, even if the vlogs end up being, like, sewn together into a, an uber vlog or, like, if the videos are short or anything, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna try this system. I'm still like two months and a half or something into me living into Japan. I'm still figuring things out. <laughs> what? I know. Anyway, um, Saturday morning, um, I'm getting ready to go out. So this is me, me outfit. It's. I'm kind of wondering, you know, like these prints are super mismatched, but I think they work. What do you think? And I haven't done my hair yet, that's what I'm getting to. Wow, short story long, as always with me. Um, I'm going to get my first uh, Tokyo hair appointment, which I'm super nervous and excited about. I'm going to number 76, which is where all the foreigners and YouTubers and influencers kind of go, because that's what I see like on their Instagram and stuff. So that's what I, where I decided to go, because I know they have English-speaking staff and I need that to explain what's been going on with my hair ever since I've been in Tokyo. I haven't washed it in two, one and a half, two days. And it's already like super frizzy and both like fizzy, frizzy, fizzy, fizzy hair. Mmm, art idea. Anyway, <laughs> it's both like super frizzy and uh, I don't know, it's annoying. And it's also like, it's grown a lot, like these are supposed to be like face framing pieces of hair and they're like here, which is not okay. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna try and explain what I want. I don't think I'm gonna get a fringe again, even though like I see my forehead now and I'm like, my hairline, my hairline is not what it used to be. Maybe I should get bangs again, I don't know. But anyway, my hair is a mess. It's gonna stay a mess until my appointment because I don't wanna do anything with it. I want the hairstylist to see what what I'm working with basically but face is on I put like gloss and it's making my lips look not not what I'm used to I don't know if I like it <laughs> but anyway this is what um this is my morning uh this is what I've been doing all morning basically just got up showered put on my face like listen to some music and I'm gonna go in a few minutes so my appointment is in Omote Sando around noon uh, which means I'm gonna be starving and my stomach is gonna be rumbling the whole appointment or maybe I'm gonna be too stressed out um, Rumbling again Appointment is in Omote Sando and then I'm going to Meguro, I believe to meet up with my friend and have a nice little day out I haven't filmed with my new friend here yet except for Benjamin so I'm a little nervous but maybe today's the day I'm hoping today is the day because i gotta get used to it because i want to keep posting to youtube so wish me luck okay lipstick kiss oh hang on lipstick kiss <laughs> taking a selfie. I don't know if you can hear me but I was actually taking a selfie of my hair in front of the salon and I got told off by the woman in the shop below. To be honest I think she must get this kind of thing a lot like people coming out of the hair salon and trying to take selfies right in front of her store but uh, I feel bad that I get told off. Anyway it's refreshed it's shorter um, 
<laughs> Sorry, there are way too many people for me to be vlogging, but um, I'm trying my best here, okay? So I'm way too early for my next appointment. So I'm gonna walk and then I'm gonna take the train. Otherwise I have to take two trains and I don't want to. Too many people on a Saturday. <sighs> I need to take, put this, I'm gonna put this camera away because it's already going straight. <laughs> it used to be so wavy. Anyway, I'll take some proper photos in a minute. I'm in the station waiting for my friend to arrive. I'm trying to take a selfie here, but apparently I don't remember what my face looks like with a mask, without a mask. I I, I can't I can't remember how to take a selfie anymore. It's it's obvious. <laughs> what's wrong with my face? I don't what? What? <laughs> This is in the bathroom in Hotel Gachuen in Meguro. We went to Hyakudan Kaidan in the hotel to see an art exhibition. No filming, of course, but it was beautiful. And the next few clips are from the hotel before I completely forget to continue filming. <laughs> Early the morning, I woke up not long ago. I think it's around eight on a Sunday. Oh my god, I'm so puffy. I didn't look this puffy when I looked at myself in the mirror. I was like, oh, it's okay. It's not that puffy. I can I can turn on the camera. I can vlog a little bit. <laughs> now that I'm looking at my face, I'm like, whoa! Just woke up. Anyway, the reason why I turned on this camera and that I keep looking at my phone is that I just did my first Uber Eats order in J Japan. I know it's stupid, um, but I don't know. I've never... I've never, like, <laughs> I keep looking at the app and like, oh, I could order this, I could order that, but I just get so wrapped up into what if I don't, if I do something wrong, if I write the address down wrong, what if I have to speak Japanese, and, you know, today I just woke up and I just felt like, you know what, my Japanese is kind of crap, but I can still manage, and it's no big deal, and I don't have any food in the fridge, and I'm starving. Um, Friday, like two days ago, we had a nomikai with my classmates, and Saturday I was kind of nursing a hangover, so I didn't do any shopping, and today, you know what, I could use some greasy food, so I ordered a McDonald's breakfast, which I haven't done in so, so long. <laughs> Where is my guy? Where is... Oh, where is he? He's picking up my order, I think. Yeah. I think so. Anyway, I haven't even... I don't think I've ever ordered Uber Eats. Or maybe once? Since, like, in Brussels? I'm not a... I don't... It's not something I do often. It's not something that I usually, you know, treat myself with, so... Anyway just wanted to let you know that that's what i'm doing today so i asked them to leave it at the door but i don't know if that's how it's gonna work i might get a phone call uh -uh. <laughs> i have my morning voice i have my puffy face i'm ordering greasy mcdonald's at 8 a.m on a sunday i don't know but we're gonna we're gonna experience this together <laughs> thought i'd document it I know it's something super simple and maybe like an everyday thing for a lot of for a lot of you guys. I don't know, but for me right now, I'm kind of like this is new. This is maybe not out of my comfort zone, but not in my comfort zone either. I don't know. I'm just I'm just I'm just talking to you while I'm waiting for uh, Norimasa-san on his bicycle to arrive. He's also up bright and early on a Sunday doing doing this hustle i can see him 
on the little map thing. It's really, I, I'm such a boomer sometimes. Like, I can see him cycling on the map, getting close with my food. Okay. He's gonna be there soon, so catch up with you in a minute. Ta da! <laughs> if you can hear me do this awkward laugh, you know that something went wrong. I don't know what went wrong, but. Uh, I think it's just because I'm in a shared house and um, even though I tell them to just leave it at the front door, they get so confused. <laughs> so in the end, I was just like, you know what, I'll just, I'll just go down, sugurikimasu. And I don't know, the guy was just really uncomfortable and awkward. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's because maybe he only does like no contact deliveries, maybe it's because I'm a foreigner, maybe it's because of my puffy face. I was wearing a mask, but I mean, whatever. Um, it was just, it was a really awkward encounter. I did not expect that. Um, I've had deliveries here and mostly people are super professional or like joking and you know, like I'm like, I don't understand Japanese, I'm sorry. And they're like, ha ha ha. It's still awkward, but this time it was just like another level of awkward. <laughs> like. He, I don't, I was expecting him to like hand me my food and be like, here, take it. And then I would have just, you know, been careful not to touch his hand or anything and just take it. But it was like he was holding it awkwardly and I was, in the end I was like, okay, should I just, just, just take it from you? I don't know. It was so weird. It was like, maybe, he kind of looked like he also stumbled out of bed. I don't know. It was so weird. But his profile is so, is good. Like he's been delivering for years and he's got like good ratings and stuff. It was I don't know, it was weird. Maybe it was just, I don't know. I'll never know, I guess, so I'm just gonna go enjoy my food now. If you wanna wake up, get yourself something delivered in the morning in Japan, it will keep you on your toes. Boy, oh boy, I have not had McDonald's breakfast in many years. Okay, I'm gonna eat this real fast before my room smells like a takeout joint. A few hours later, I'm ready to go out. Weather is... It says it's not gonna rain. It looks like it's gonna rain. But the weather apps, not the iPhone weather app. I won't, do not use that. <laughs> it's, it's never right. But the weather apps here, like AccuWeather, are quite reliable when it comes to rain and when it's going to rain. It's actually quite surprising. So I'm gonna trust it. I'm gonna wear this nice little summer dress. I'm gonna take this jacket to make it look a little bit more casual because I mean, yeah, I did do my hair. I know it doesn't look like it, but I did do my friggin' hair. But because of the humidity, it just went back to being flat and I expect that in a couple of minutes, it will go poof when I step out into the street, it will just go But anyway, I don't know what the plans are today, but um, yeah, I think we're just gonna go hang out, maybe go to the park. Uh, we've been wanting to um, <laughs> play with the bubbles. I, don't, I think it was my idea, it was probably my idea. If, if it's something silly and childish like that, it was probably my idea to go to go play with bubbles at a park. Uh, the weather is not ideal, but I think it'll be fun nonetheless, right? I'm always nervous. Why am I always nervous when I go meet people? I know why, because I have social anxiety and it's a bully in my brain making me, well, trying to make me believe that everyone is pretending to like me, uh, secretly hates me and finds me bothersome um, and um, that everyone's gonna leave me. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why. But it's Sunday. If they didn't want to hang out with me on a Sunday, they wouldn't, right? <laughs> Anyone else with social anxiety, I know how you, f I know you understand this. So uh, comment right now saying I'm a, I'm a social anxiety uh, peep, but I am doing my best. <laughs> Okay, enough rambling and nervous laughter. Let's just go.